Hi everyone, I'm Iltain. In this video I would like to show how I made a procedural lightning bolt in Blender. Basically, this is just three words with some modifiers. Let's start with Prepare and Mesh. Select the default cube, go to Edit mode, select All, M at center. Press E and Z for Extrude Vertex Up and then Extrude one more time. This is all geometry what we need, let's give it a name Lightning. Now let's add some modifiers. Firstly, add the skin modifier. Go to edit mode, Alt plus Z for enable X-rays. Select the first and last words and press Ctrl plus A for change the size of skin. Make the middle vertex a bit wider than edges. Then we need to create a vertex group for control distortion. Add new group, rename it and then select the middle vertex and press assign with the maximal weight. Then select first and last words, change weight to very small value and press assign. We will need this a bit later. Now let's add the empty object and rename it to lightning.offset. We will use it for animation in future. Select the lightning mesh again and add the displace modifier. Change direction to X, set the vertex group we made and press new for create new texture. Select the object for coordinates and then pick our empty offset. Then let's configure the texture. Select type clouds, noise basis, anyone you like, I just prefer Varane F1. Then play with size and type to reach the result you will like. Then add one more displace modifier for the Y axis. Configure it similarly, just set the correct axis and create a new texture with a bit different parameters. Don't forget to rotate the view and check our lightning from all sides. Then we make our lightning a bit less detailed. Go to modifiers and add the decimate modifier with small ratio, for example 0.3. And the last modifier, the weld. This is need to make some parts of lightning thinner for more interesting view. Great, now we have a nice static mesh, let's animate it. Select the empty object, press N for open the transform panel and add the keyframes for rotation channels. Then go to another frame on timeline and change value of rotation, then press I for add new keyframes. Go to timeline, press Shift E and select the linear extrapolation for make animation process a bit simpler in this case. You can change the project frame rate and move keyframes for reach the best animation speed. Then I just played with modifiers, parameters and offset rotation for the better result. Now add some material to our lightning, change surface to emission, set strength and color and go to preview material mode. Also enable bloom in EV render settings, now it looks much better. Then let's add a bit more deform animation. The displace modifier has a grid option mid-level, let's play with it. I add a few random keyframes with limit values 0, 1 and 0 0.50. Go to graph editor for see the animation curve and select the constant interpolation. This will give to our lightning some broken movement, ideally for the electric effect. Press Shift plus E and make cyclic for repeat this animation. Then go to displace by Y axis and do the same with a bit different keyframes. frames. 
Now I want to hide lightning periodically for make it a bit more realistic. Just scale it to zero by one frame, keep this for a few frames and return back to one. Don't forget that we have a three curves here, one for each axis. Add a new plane as floor for setup light sources. Reduce the light of world and enable scene lights in viewport. Select the default light point and move at bottom of lightning. Reduce the strange and change the color. Now it's black magic time. Select the lightning mesh and create a new custom property power and set the maximum value as 100. We will use it to animate power of the emission material and light source at the same time. Create the keyframes for animating our new property and make it cyclic. This curve should repeat the scale change. We will turn off the light when lightning is hidden. Then we add some noise to curve. Attention, I use the restrict frame range option to add noise to the part of curve only, because we need to keep zero value when light is off. Go to Power Property, right-click, copy data path. Then select the light point, go to Power, right-click, add driver. Keep var in expression, select single property in list, select object lightning and past copy data path. Let's multiply var in expression for make light brighter. Good, you can see the light started to tremble. Also, I make power curve a bit smoother for a nice fade out. Now select light source, copy driver, then select lightning and pass driver into material emission. Right click, edit driver and remove multiplier. Now it's look awesome. Nice, you have done the stylized procedural lightning. You can duplicate light point and they all will have same animation that you can control via custom parameter. You can edit speed, distortion and even add more vertexes for make more interesting geometry. I will add link to example file in description. Thanks for watching! This is my first video with voice hour and honestly it was really hard to make. Comments what you think, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and see you!